Over the past 20 years, the world has made remarkable progress in reducing poverty. Fast economic growth in Asia, particularly China, has rapidly boosted the incomes of millions. This dramatic progress has raised hopes for an end to extreme poverty in our lifetimes. While the international community is debating new Millennium Development Goals for 2030, the African Union is developing its own long-term vision, Agenda 2063. At the heart of both agendas will be goals for eliminating extreme poverty. But what does it mean to eliminate extreme poverty globally? In our forecast, we define this as reducing the percentage of people living on less than $1.75 a day in each country to under 3% in 2011 prices. Africa faces the toughest task. The continent has the largest share of its population living in extreme poverty at approximately 390 million people. The African Futures Project is a collaboration between the Institute for Security Studies and the Frederick S. Pardee Center for International Futures. We promote the exploration and identification of trends and policy interventions to advance human development and sustainability. To test whether the goal of eliminating extreme poverty by 2030 is achievable for African countries, we use the International Futures Forecasting System to model four aggressive but reasonable interventions to reduce extreme poverty in Africa. We found that even if African leaders do everything in their power to promote inclusive economic growth, support human development, provide social assistance to the poor, and work to incorporate the marginalized, this target will likely remain out of reach for many countries in Africa on such a short time frame. So what would be a more reasonable but aggressive goal? Our analysis suggests that Africa as a whole could reduce extreme poverty to below 15% by 2030 and to below 3% by 2048, thus eliminating extreme poverty well before 2063. But by setting a continental goal, Leaders are also missing an opportunity to set targets that are sensitive to country circumstances. Setting additional country-level targets for both Agenda 2063 and the post-2015 Millennium Development Goals would better recognise that different countries face very different challenges. With 80% of its people living below the poverty line, a large poverty gap, low economic growth and high population growth, Madagascar, for example, may need more time to make significant progress in reducing poverty than Ethiopia or Burundi. Finally, policymakers need to pay more attention to chronic poverty. Chronic poverty occurs when people are poor for long periods of time and are unable to escape poverty no matter what they do. This happens because the challenges they face are both complex and overlapping. These challenges include discrimination and exclusion, bad health, low education and poor opportunities, among others. Reducing chronic poverty requires a dedicated effort to address these challenges. It also means a stronger focus on inequality and the structural transformation of African economies. There is huge potential in Africa to make significant strides to reduce extreme poverty in coming decades. More realistic targets will help countries to meet their goals, and the work of the African Futures Project can assist in this process. Connect with us online.